Boston Way, the River Kent, Cumbria. Built in 1874 and spanning the river for over 37 metres and standing three metres tall. So the River Kent has been designated as a site of special scientific interest and a special area of conservation on the account of the river habitat, the freshwater pearl mussels, the white crawl crayfish and the bullhead. Over the years the river has been significantly modified which has affected the condition of the river so now many of the units are in an unfavourable condition. So South Cumbria Rivers Trust are the lead organisation for the Natural England and Environment Agency led Cumbria River Restoration Strategy for the River Kent. Redundant weirs and dams are being removed from rivers throughout the world because we now fully understand the ecological damage they cause. Weir removals can be the most effective tool to undo this damage and to realise the multiple benefits for our rivers, for people and for wildlife. At Boston Weir we identified it was a really significant barrier that the best option for the river and the wildlife and the geomorphology of the river was to have a full removal. The ideal approach to managing the weir structure really is to entirely remove it, to reinstate geomorphic and ecological process as much as is feasible, but for various constraints at the site that wasn't possible, so we had to come up with an alternative approach, and that approach was to replace the existing or the previous weir structure with a lower elevation nature-like rock ramp. So the main constraint in terms of physical process for the design was the amount of sediment that had been trapped behind the historical wheel structure over about 200 years and we couldn't just let that go. Now the way we did that was to obviously to remove the dam but also to put in place some additional check features and those check features were to stop the river from eroding uncontrollably upstream and you can see those behind me. We have two rock rapids they cover a distance of about 60 metres or so and they take up all of the gradient that the dam used to occupy. In addition, as you can see all around us, we've changed from that monotonous pool and glide to a really healthy, very energetic pool and riffle system with uh, the rock rapids as well. South Cumbria Rivers Trust were the first to propose a weir removal on this river and a community living alongside it found this to be a contentious proposal and there was a coordinated effort to object to the removal resulting in an official objection from the local parish council and a protracted planning process. In summer 22, the first major weir on the River Kent was removed and Ebsford Environmental were contracted for this work. Weir removal is always challenging, especially at Boston, where the structure was located at the bottom of several residential properties. It was an additional consideration for our team to engage with the public who were against the removal and were keen to let us know. We were successful because we comprehensively championed the multiple benefits of this weir removal. Crucially, we were able to evidence those benefits. So our role in this project is to provide the evidence base to show the improvement that this weir removal has had. So we surveyed this area before the restoration, we surveyed it afterwards, and then when it floods, we can survey it again and we can provide the difference between, so we can see where areas have eroded and areas have deposited. And crucially, we can show that there's a fantastic habitat emerging from this area that simply wasn't here before. There was also a significant uplift in biodiversity net gain. A tool called the Modular River Physical Survey Method, or MORV criteria, was used to compare habitat condition before and after weir removal. This work demonstrated a biodiversity net gain of 44%. Boston Weir's removal has restored flow dynamics to the river. This makes more niche habitats available for invertebrates and spawning fish, supporting a greater range of species. Community benefits have also been realised, and previously inaccessible riverbanks are now clean gravel bars. It's now a place to picnic, to swim and paddle sport. Fishing habitat is also improved, and so we hope that this first weir removal will nurture support for other opportunities in the future. Never has this been so relevant and poignant amid the climate and the ecological crisis we're in. There are opportunities for all of us to contribute to positive change now. Boston demonstrates that weir removals are possible, can show immediate results and will continue to do so for generations to come.